everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel hello my name is Michelle and I post videos weekly about motherhood lifestyle vlogs and the occasional beauty video so if you think that might interest you just click the subscribe button that is floating around right here and that way you'll be notified every week when I upload a new video other than that as you can tell by the title of this video which I don't know why I point up here because usually the title is down here but anyways the title of this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I got these disgusting little bath toys disinfected and how I'm preventing them from growing mold and being gross for the future. So if you want to know how to take care of your bath toys, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I just filled up this four liter ice cream pail, um, which if I believe my conversion is correct, would be a gallon for you guys in America, but I'm from Canada and we work in liters. So anyways, I filled it up with hot water and a quarter cup of Clorox disinfecting bleach. And then I kind of just stirred that around and then I placed inside of it, obviously, our bath toys. And what I did is I squeezed out all the air or water, leftover water that was in them, and then just put them in the water to kind of allow them to soak up that disinfecting water and get all that goodness in there to kill off any mold, bacteria, anything that's growing inside there. And then because I have a lid, I just decided to put a lid on it because I have kids. Not that I'm going to allow them around this, but just to prevent any spillage. And yeah, then all you're going to do is you're going to wait an hour to allow it to really disinfect and kill off and get rid of all that gunk that is growing inside those disgusting fat toys. So I just wanted to show you guys this specific bath toy. If you can see in that one spot, you can kind of see some grayish green shadowing. That is mold. That is what we're trying to kill off. That is what's so actually good. doing the same thing with the bath mat, like the non-slip bath mat. This actually amazes me because I had tried scrubbing it with vinegar and it still had like all these black circles around the suctions, but this has been in here for maybe 10 minutes and it's just, again, probably about a cup of bleach filled up with a bunch of water and you can barely see any mold growing around there now. And the only thing I did was I soaked it and then I just scrubbed it with this little scrubby and I'm just letting that soak in there as well and then after I'll probably just give it another scrub down and then rinse, rinse, rinse and it'll be good to go. I'm amazed at this because I thought I was going to have to throw this out so I was really disappointed. This blows my mind. So now that you can see my bath mat, this was about after 40 minutes, I pulled it out and there was no mold growing around those rings whatsoever. I was so excited because I definitely thought I was going to have to throw out this bath mat and I was super sad. And the way that I'm going to prevent this from happening in the future is always making sure I lift it up and hang it up just like so over my bathtub to prevent any water from getting trapped in. And so once the bath toys were done soaking, I did rinse them out a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of times with just cold water. And then I put them off to the side to let them dry for two to three days just to make sure they were completely dry. Now we're going to prevent this from ever happening again. And it's really so simple. I pulled out my hot glue gun and I glued shut every single hole. Now this isn't going to guarantee this will never happen again. The glue may become loose and you may have to re-glue them once in a while, but this is way better than having to disinfect them all the time and worrying about your babies bathing with moldy little toys. Yeah. So anyways, that was a short and simple video of how I disinfected and prevented these bath toys from growing mold and them going farther. Um, I just really wanted to do this video because it was something I was trying to figure out how to do and I searched up and I was like, hey, if I'm going to search it up, I bet you other moms are looking for a solution as well. So I might as well do a video showcasing on how I disinfected them and then glued them shut to prevent any water from getting in them going forward. But And if your kids are anything like mine, they obviously love to play with bath toys in the bath. So I couldn't take that away from them. So this was the next best thing solution to prevent them from getting like super super gross so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up that way I know and maybe I will continue making videos on like my little tips and tricks for just motherhood in general things that I come across and if you aren't already please subscribe you can subscribe by clicking the button that's floating around right here and that way you'll be notified every week when I put out a new video other than that I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video Bye. 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 Bye.